Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video today on In-Depth Sonar YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Garmin Echomap 2 units that they released this week. I'm just getting set up here to do another video on this guy, which is what I believe to be the greatest live sonar mount available today. So if you want to check that video out, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when it comes out. But for now, we're going to talk about Garmin's Echomap 2 UHD units. So we'll get right into it and get the camera set up here and we'll get going. This video is gonna be a little bit different, more of like a vlog style video. So if you like this content, let me know. And I can definitely make more videos like this a lot quicker than the typical videos you'll find on my channel. So we can just talk about these new products that are coming out, like these new Garmin Echomap UHD 2 units. So they have the UHD 53 and 73, which are keypad units. Then we have a 63, 73, 93, which are touchscreen units. And we have a 106 and 126 Ultra unit, which are all new units that are out. Now, the ones I wanna start with are gonna be the keypad units and the 106 and 126. Those ones really were just more of a part number change than anything. They do have the new Navionics Plus mapping loaded to them. So that is the big change in those. Other than that, they're basically the same units and not gonna really see any differences on those. So if you were one of the people who purchased one of those 106s or 126s when they were on sale, only difference is the mapping and you can actually buy that mapping on an external chart card, which will be less expensive than the cost difference of what you paid to the new retail price. The older versions of these units had the Garmin Lakeview mapping in them. So Lakeview G3 is typically what you'd find in these units. And basically the main difference between that and the Navionics Plus was the updates. With Lakeview, you had one update within the first year of purchasing the unit. Now with this Navionics Plus uh, Garmin Edition mapping, you have a year of updates with that. So you can update every day for one year at no cost to you. After that, it'll be a subscription-based service just like the Navionics Plus cards are for other units. Now, because these units take Navionics, that doesn't mean the Navionics card you have from your Lowrance, Raymarine, or Hummingbird will work in this. And it also doesn't mean that the Garmin Navionics Plus charts will work in the other brands. So there's still a Garmin version of Navionics Plus, which is preloaded to these new units, and there's a Navionics Plus version for all the other brands. Now the new models they introduced are the touchscreen models, the six inch, uh, seven inch, and nine inch. So the six inch unit is a new touchscreen. We've never seen an Echo Map touchscreen that small before, so that's really nice. It's gonna be something if you have a smaller boat, maybe a small bay boat, something like that, you could get that in there no problem at all. And that will come with the GT54 transducer. The Echo Map 7 inch UHD2 unit is gonna also come with the GT54 transducer, which is actually a step down from the current 73 that's out there that does come with the GT56. And if you're not familiar with those two transducers, the 54 is the older version, 56 is the newer version. The 56 is 10 inches long versus six inches long on the 54. And the main difference is the higher frequency, higher detail sonar imaging. Now, when we come to the nine inch model, this is where the biggest changes are. You're gonna have the GT56 transducer with it, just like the current nine inch model, but the screen resolution is about 50% more. I haven't calculated it exactly, but it's, it's right around that 50% more. So you're gonna really take advantage of that GT56 transducer now. The detail on that is gonna be phenomenal with that higher resolution screen. And obviously now with live scope as well, that's gonna really benefit the anglers using a nine inch screen, having that higher resolution. So definitely wanna take a look at that unit. But again, the cost difference between what's out there now and these new versions is pretty significant. I think it would be very hard to justify that price difference in my opinion. The new units will also have that newer menu system that Garmin's been using. They've had it on their GPS map products uh, for about a year now. It's now coming into these units as well. So it's a little bit easier, quicker to navigate through and everything's all on the screen at once and you can see a preview of what's going on behind as you're making changes, which is a nice feature. Definitely takes a little time to get used to as with any new user interface, but once you are used to it, it definitely is a nicer system. The mounting system on the UHD2 units is also different. It's got that nice positive latching system like we had on the 106 and 126. So we have that now. It's no longer just that click in on the seven and nine inch units. I'll have to check on the six. I don't believe it has that new style on it but the seven and nine definitely do. So those are securely gonna be mounted onto your boat now. So you can wirelessly data share between Echomap 2 units. 
So we are able to pair um, the units wirelessly through the menu system and share our waypoints that way. So that's a nice thing for installation for the weekend guy. It's gonna be very easy. Basically install your units, pair them up as if you'd be pairing a Bluetooth device to your cell phone, and then they'll connect and talk and waypoints will share seamlessly. So it'll save you running that network cable between the units, which is nice. Lorance did this with their Elite TI2 units a few years ago. So it's really nice to see Garmin bringing this back because Lorance scrapped it for whatever reason. And I think on these smaller units, wireless networking is nice. In my opinion though, I would run the cable still. I think that's the best way to do it. There was also one sentence that kind of caught my eye in their press release. And it said, if you have an existing Ultra or UHD unit and add a UHD2 unit, those units will also wirelessly network. So we'll have to dive into that a little bit deeper once we get the units to take a look at that. But that's a nice feature that Garmin looks like they're bringing a little backwards compatibility to users with existing products. Thanks for joining me today in this quick vlog style video. Like I said at the beginning, if you want more content like this, where the information is just out to you on these new products and a little bit of my opinion and thoughts on them, please let me know in the comments and I'll certainly be able to make videos like this a lot quicker and more frequently. So thanks a lot for your views and support. Really appreciate that. And like I said, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like the videos and share it with a friend if you think someone would find this video interesting.